so much fun. I have, this is fabulous 40s. You're at the right place. Are we fabulous? But we have a surprise to show you. You ready? Yeah. Do you, would you like to see the charity quilt I've been working with the Julian ladies, Vaughn? Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, cool. Okay, Teresa brought it in. Oh, thank you. Look, oh my goodness. Let's go long ways. Oh, long ways. Long ways. Let's go long ways. <laughs> we didn't have it folded now. Woo, look at that. Isn't that fun? Jenny just delivered it to me this morning. I'm going to hand carry it into Paducah, but you guys get to see it first. Isn't it beautiful? So um, imagine nine ladies all making blocks and nine different sized blocks all fitting together. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's really, really great. It is, um, it is queen size. But we are selling charity tickets, so maybe if you get it, if you want to get some afterwards. But um, we take the funds that we make from uh, selling tickets and give them to the youth of Julian for scholarships. They go to all of the high school students. Isn't that good yeah. to help the young people go? But anyhow, Mary Jo Ramble did the quilting. The Julian Women's Club ladies did all of the sewing in it. And we think it's beautiful. It's beautiful on the front. You want to see the back? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Somebody asked if I had any of this fabric. I said I used to have a bolt of it. <laughs> but we put it on the back. But anyhow, we just think it's just so gorgeous. I wanted you to see it. Isn't that nice? It is really cool. So we have the tickets over there. Don't worry. We'll catch you. All right, now, are you ready yes. for the two blocks we're going to do today? Roll the drums. Okay, you got your books? I'm going to get my book. I'm going to open my book to page 43, okay? Page 43, Dora's Delight. Are you ready? Oh, so you're, you're talking to somebody out there asking for help? Oh, you can, you watch. oh Candace? Can you watch watch? Yes, you can watch. Okay, I don't know where to stand. <laughs> All right, so I didn't hear a word. What do you think? Isn't it cool? This is straight out of the 40s, don't you think? It's just, it's the, when you look at each one of the blocks, it's just really, really fun. And they're just a scrap bag quilt, it's perfect. And Teresa said, this is just like what her grandmother and her mother did. The ruffle actually is using the salvage edge to hem it. Oh, yeah. All right. Huh? So um, this is actually Dora's Delight. And this is what we're going to learn today. First of all, the center patch is a square and a square right in the middle. Cute. And then we're going to have half square triangles in the corners. And this is the patch. The patch is a triangle in a square. Triangle in a square, four of them. But I love, you have to got, you guys have to lift up the bottom because I love the turquoise one. Just fold it over. Candace, you don't even get to see what it looks like. Isn't this the best? Yeah. That's what I love. I love it. It's just so much fun. It has um, simple quilting on it, just in each one of the blocks. And what's interesting is on some of them, the corners just kind of blend in. I'm looking for one that they blend in. Well, none of them they blend in. What was I thinking? <laughs> I saw that this morning. Where did they blend in? Brother up? Okay, on the other side. Okay, let's see where they blend in. Oh, well, that one totally blends in, huh? This is a beautiful fabric. I think it's so cool. I would say that this is probably a feed sack. This reminds me just of one of my mom's feed sacks. It's cool. So Dora is my grandmother. It's my mother's mother. And of course she had feed sacks because she raised chickens. Yay! So that's one thing Dora and I have in common. I have chickens now. Is that interesting? 
We are getting like six a day. How does a person eat six a day? <laughs> I have more, more uh, egg salads. I'm, I'm the, the pro of egg salad sandwiches now. It's really, really good. Cool. So I just want to show you, Kate, don't show anything else. So the pattern is Dora's Delight. And this is the second time that we've done Doris Delight. Do you guys recognize this yes. book? Yes. Quilt Blocks on American Barns. Unfortunately, we're sold out, but this is a second. You can buy a second, or you can look in your bookshelf and see if you already have one. <laughs> right? Do you already have one? Okay, so I'm going to show you. There is Dora. Well, you can use this one, too, because there's Dora right here. I won't turn around, but there is Dora. Does she look like a grandma? Huh? So it's so fun. And this is Pap, her husband, John, Dora, and John Drischel. Cool. Well, anyhow, it's right here is the block here. And when we did the barn block, we did Dora's Delight wall hanging. There it is there. And all of the yardage. And here it is, right here. Oh, yeah, it's 12 inch and 9 inch. So if you really like, pardon me, 6. Thank you for listening to me, Teresa. It's 12 and 6. Thank you. But anyhow, if you decide that you'd like, you like the block and you'd like to make it, then you are going to have to switch off to the barn book. Am I doing good? Does that make sense? Cool. Okay, so you're allowed to change your mind, aren't you? Yes. I can change the name, right? Yes. I did Dora's Delight once with my grandmother, and then I said, man, I wonder if there's another block for Dora's Delight, huh? Dora's Delight. In comes... Barbara Brackman's Encyclopedia of Pieced Quilt Blocks. 4,000 names. Hmm. We said maybe we could do some new names. Ah. Does that sound good? Let us see. Ooh. Hmm. Dora's Delight. <gasps> Road to Paradise. How's that sound? Yeah. Road to Paradise. That's another name. It says it right here in Barbara Brackman's book. It looks like Doris Delight, but it's Road to Paradise. Where's Paradise? Right here. It's right here. <laughs> it's Quilton a day. You're, you're in Paradise right here at Quilton a day, don't you think? Good. So we renamed the block. So now do you want to see? Okay, Paradise. I have an old picture. Let me see. Guess who this gentleman is? Oop. That's Orion. That is Orion. We moved, we moved into this place in um, 83. That was a little bit later. He was pretty young, climbing all around on the bookshelves and such. Let me see. He makes me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? So anyhow, we did a little walkthrough of paradise. And I'll show it to you later if you want to see it. We take you all through the building and into the back where it says, do not enter. Do you want to go there? Yeah. After we get, of course, after we get our block done, then I'll show you how to do that, okay? Okay, that's our first one. It's called um, Road to Paradise. That's good. Okay, now flip over. Go a couple more pages. We have a second one here. Has similar techniques, and that's why we put the blocks together. Now, page 50. We have Grandma Star. Grandma Star. And it used to be called Garden Walk. Oh, my gosh, all these names. You want to see Grandma Star? Yeah. Ta-da! You like the old quilts? Isn't that fun? So Grandma's Star 
is exactly the same. It also has the triangle and a square patch. And instead of the um, square and a square in the middle, they're just little four patches. Four little four patches going on, five of them going around it. And this one I, is really like, really cute. I love the stars, the way it goes together. Can you guys see it over there? Betty, yeah. can you see it good? Yeah. Okay, so look up at the top. I want to show you the top. Ah, go to the top. Oh, yeah, is that not special? That is all hand embroidered along there. Mm -hmm. I love it. So do you know what it's called? Anybody know? <laughs> it's called a tulip, but it's called a whisker yeah, cloth. Whisker. A whisker cloth. That's grandpa. Oh, that's called grandpa's whisker cloth. One time I was doing a video and I, I messed up and I called it grandma's whisker cloth. <laughs> I was all messed up, but let me show you. It is a special piece of fabric that is added to the top. If you look underneath, you can actually see the backing that's along there. And whenever you flip it, it's just sewn down at the side, sewn along here, sewn at the sides, folded over. And do you see the rest of the quilt underneath again? Well, this was a special cloth that women would attach to their favorite quilts so that whenever Grandpa got into bed at night and he just wanted to pull up the covers and pull the quilt up uh, under his whiskers and just rub against it all night long and have a great night's sleep, so they put this on there so Grandpa wouldn't ruin the edges. Did you know that? Is that cool? It's called Grandpa's Whisker Cloth. And actually, you know, once Grandpa's gone, you could take it off because the quilt's underneath. <laughs> but anyhow, it's just such a special thing that, to put on there, and I love it. But show, flip it over and show the back because the quilting is simple, and I really do love it. Soft pink, huh? Very, very pretty. Very this popular Very popular color. So what's, what year would you say, Penny? Uh, my grandma did one that had, uh, it was a dress and plate. Uh -huh. Her centers were that pink, and that was back in the, the 40s, early 40s. I, it looks 40s to me, too. It looks 40s to me. And look at this. I left the price tag on. What, how much was it? Oh, I'll tell you, but I'll tell you why because I leave the price tags on so that when I'm gone, Orion does not have a garage sale and sell this for $5. <laughs> That's a good idea, huh? I would say this was a good value. Um, this is another name for it. It says 5440 or fight. That is another name, 5440 or fight is another name for these same patches. And it was a very reasonable $295. Not bad. That is not bad. No, that is really good. I like that. And I really like this. The antique dealer wrote Finley, Ruth Finley. Ruth Finley wrote America's second quilting book. And she was the lady that she had a car, and she would get in her car, and she would drive all around the back countryside, and she would spot a quilt hanging on the clothesline, and she would want to know more about it. So she would park her car in their driveway. You could do that then. And she knocked <laughs> on the door, and she said, may I have a drink of water, please? And while she was there drinking her water, she would engage the people that had that clothes, that quilt on the clothesline, ask them about it, how you know, the name of it, et cetera, et cetera. And she said, I have enough, I have drunk enough water to sink a battleship. <laughs> but that's a true story. Ruth Finley, it's really, I love it. I love it. Okay, so another one. This one's Teresa did. This is This is um, Grandma's Star. Grandma's Star. Isn't that pretty? Okay, Teresa has a very simple quilt on her bed, and she likes to just put this at the end, and this is so a bed runner. 
But it looks like a table runner too, huh? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's beautiful. So anyhow, it's called Grandma Star. But do you know that when we did egg money, egg money, the same pattern is in here. And in this book, we called it Garden Walk. Did I mention Garden Walk when I was standing here? I'm getting a little confused. Garden Walk or Grandmother's, Grandma Star. It even says that in the book. But if you look over at that egg money quilt, in the corner, in the purple and the yellow, bottom left corner, you see the Garden Walk. Can you show it in the book? Yes. Would you like me to put it down right here? Okay, there it is in the book, in egg money. Here it is right here. That's the quilt that I just showed you. Good suggestion, David. And so in this book, in egg money, here's the whole pattern. But there is also yardage that shows how to do all different sizes of quilts. So if you really like the garden walk, I love the pattern. And then you could just use your egg money. We were actually out of inventory on this for a while. Let me see if I can find garden walk. Ah, there it is. There it is in the book. 1930s vintage. So apparently this was airing on PBS around the country and we were all out of inventory. Everybody was looking for this book, Egg Money. Do you know there were some people that were buying it for a hundred dollars? No, I wasn't even, uh, one of our distributors had a stash, but you know what? It's in inventory now at Quilt in a Day. You can get it right here and now folks, step right up. <laughs> I'm good at selling, right? <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> but it's, it's just one of my favorite books. So we put that one. There's another um, egg money there. Egg money up there. Oh, I can see Garden Walk in the corner. Do you see it? And, and that one, did we keep it all in the same spot? Yep, in the black and the red. That's cool, they're all around. So anyhow, those are the two blocks that I have. Does it sound good? Yes. So, Grandma Star, um, I asked some of the kids to come by, so we'll find out if they get to come. Hmm, you never know. The door springs open and they come in. I should have told them that they could come in and see. Okay, so let's look back here. Um, we did samples, and this, these are the rulers for the triangle and a square. We'll start right up here. Okay, your book does not have these size blocks, but just in case you want to make a block quickly, we have really big rulers. <laughs> this, is, um, this is for the large triangle and a square, and this is like the six Six inch, six and a half inch. That's a six and a half inch patch. That's cool. In Grandma's Star and in Ro um, Road to Paradise. Okay, and so then moving down along, this is a little bit smaller. There are two rulers inside this package. These are now the five inch, five inch squares. See the difference? You can get six and a half and five inch just in case. And I love this one with the little fussy. Cause that pretty? That's very, very pretty. Okay, and so this is really what you need if you're doing 12 inch blocks. This is a 12 inch. And this is our triangle and a ruler set. It is for, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. it's four and three. They end up being four inches, four inches. Guess what size this is? Three. This is three. Who said that? Four or three. And this one, that does look really small, huh? But now look at that one. This is really, we did this just to trick you. <laughs> okay, that is really 
the six inch block that's in your book. Do you like it? What size is this? What size is that? Guess what you use for that one? A little tiny two and a half inch fussy cut ruler. Oh, it's so cute. Do you have the um, one for this one, the six and six? You didn't get it done. I'm sorry, Teresa. We've been making you work so hard. This has been the most exciting week. I mean, it's just like incredible. <laughs> but on Saturday, I fly to Paducah. So I have to have everything in my suitcase. David is making all these costumes. You'll have to come and see that show. Okay, so let me put that down. Okay, let me keep this one. Let's move some stuff around. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think it's, it's um, we had done that with the AccuQuill cutter. Yeah. And the six, yeah, and the six and a half inch. Yeah, it's a big block. Six, twelve, eighteen. Yep. Eighteen. That's good. Okay, so how about let's get right to the road to paradise, otherwise known as Forest Life. Can you remember all of that? <laughs> I'm trying to remember it all. Okay, Teresa, you have all, oh, let me see that. Let's see what you have. Let's turn on the machine. Yeah, this one is beautiful. So you guys bought all of the kits. We have another one, just in case. It's so pretty. We're calling this the coral kit. Isn't it pretty, though? It's very, very pretty. Very, very fun. I like the coral. Yeah, and Martha's put that away. You get to see Martha in just a little bit. Okay, so... I have all of the pieces and I'm going to switch out because this is really like the one that is in your book, right? Yes. That's the one that looks in your book. Okay, so your yardage for your 12 and your 6 is on page 43. Are you on page 43? Okay, let's move. So the dark, one of the darks is your center square. Right here, what size is the center square for a 12 inch? Center square, three and a fourth. That's really easy to read, three and a half, isn't it? It's three and a fourth, right? Three and a fourth, and then you need to have these medium, light medium yellow triangles around the outside edge. Can you find that on your chart? So what do you need there? Three and a half, how many of them? Two. Two. Okay, don't make the mistake that I did. If I want to put one on each side, how many is that? Four. So if I have two squares here, how should I cut it? Diagonally, Judy, I heard that. So only one time. Did you notice one cut? Do not do what I did. They don't. <laughs> okay, so turn the page, and you will see at the top of page 44, I have the center square, and I have my little um, triangles now. I have four of them, and so you don't get messed up. Teresa, you want to come and press, press these really quick? Because um, I made this block. Okay, fold it in fours. Oh, in and fours? Fold it oh, in fours, it. yeah. Fold it in fours one time and along and then again. Fold it in the other way. Yeah. Fold it in fours. I sewed and with my sister four. Patty. Patty made me unsew over and over again because <laughs> she said I didn't have it centered. <laughs> That's the truth, right? <laughs> That's true. Okay, so can you see those little white lines on your square? That means fold it. And now you take your um, triangles and you fold those only once. Okay, and let me see if I'm all set here to go. I'm going to put my foot down. Oops, turn on my machine. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a triangle. And look at this. This is really cool because this was folded... 
right sides together. This was folded so that you had the wrong side out. Okay, so when you just lay that down, then you can just take the folds and flip them right sides together and they line up. Ah! Ah! Is that good? You won't have a sister making you unsew. Okay, so just use a regular quarter of an inch seam. And I'm just going to sew down one side. And let me get everything lined up here. So, what's that? Okay, so there is a little fussy cut in this. We, we fussy cut the, the center, so it was really, really cute. And um, I always say that my sister Patty is the queen of fussy cut, and I always do like this. So, fussy cut. <laughs> fussy cut. And um, one of the young ladies that I had in my class, it was just two weeks ago, she is actually in, in the military police. And she told me that when she was five years old, she watched my program with her mother. And she said that she would run around all day long and go like this, fussy cut, fussy cut. And her, this, she says this is a true story. She remembered it. And um, she said her mother told her she only had one dimple because she did fussy cut all day long. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I thought that was fun. Okay, we did good. I did good. Let's see if it's centered. Let me see. So I have to get the right button push. Good, finally. Okay, looks pretty good centered, huh? Okay, how am I pressing the seams? How is Teresa pressing the seams? She's to the, to the dark side? Toward the triangle. Ooh, good. Okay, we got lots hanging over. Big tips hanging out. Yep. You don't want to let big tips hang out. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna take it, take it off the air. Oh no. <laughs> Listen to this. It's in your DNA, Eleanor. You can't fight it. I can't stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we still on, Harry? <laughs> okay, so anyhow, get to work. Okay, see? These are going to go right on there, right? Isn't that good? Like so? And you've got your little folds, your little tucks. Just um, fold them right sides together and get it sewn right on there. So. Did you guys do your blocks from last month? Yes. How many yeses? Let me hear that. Yes. yes. Good. That's good because we're going to take a look at those in just a minute too. One side, turn it around, open this up, wow. and this is going to just line up. Did I do good, Teresa? You did really good. Oh, thank you. I need coffee. You need coffee? <laughs> Is coffee coming in the door? I don't know. <laughs> You're as bad as me. Okay, press these out, and I am going to get my fussy cut ruler ready. Okay, so these, this is to be squared up to four and a half inches. This is the four and a half inch fussy cut ruler. I told you that you should get this set if you don't already have it. And it's really fun to do it on a turnable. But the reason I like this is because it has these little tick marks, four places. If you take the X and you just center it right on your fussy cut, right in the middle, mm -hmm. and you put, you line these up. Let me get my little, okay, see how that's lined up there? You can just slip that just a little bit there, just a little there, just a little there. It's good, and I'm just going to move it around. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Very good. And it's best if you put it on the turnable, so once you put your ruler down, you don't have to pick up and move anything. Turn it. 
another time. Perfect. Look at that. I am very excited. I actually cut. Ta-da! Does it look good? Whoa. Four and a half. Very, very good. Okay, so now let's just go to the next page. Okay, so we did this part right here, and now we have our half square triangles right in the corners. And if you see in your book, you take a rectangle of background and a rectangle of medium. Place them right sides together. Draw first a center line and then diagonal lines through both of the blocks. And then you just so do 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 a quarter of an inch down one side, turn it, and then go around the other side. Do you think that's funny sewing, Dorothy? My sewing always comes out straight. I never have to unsew when I go like this. Okay. So next you're going to take your ruler. We've done this before. That's why I'm going really fast, right? Yeah, right. You guys all know how to do half square um, triangles. Okay, cut it in half and then cut in half again. And obviously you cut all four of these. But I'm just doing one. Okay. Now, Teresa, will you... Set the seam with the medium on top, open and press into it. Sure. Sure. Perfect. Cool. All right. So now the seam is pressed toward the medium. And once again, I'm going to get my um, uh, fussy cut ruler. Oops. Okay. Where it is. Okay. There is not a lot to trim. So you have that diagonal line that you can just run it right down through that seam. There's fra just fragments, really. That's almost less than an eighth of an inch to trim away. But we make everything larger and then square it back to be a perfect size. Okay, that's good. Whoop, there's only a little bit of tip. A little bit of tip hanging out and it's done. Okay, done? Da, da, is that good? Okay, so let's lay this out what we have. First we have the square, and then we're just going to take and put one, two. I'm rocking and a rolling. Look at this. I love this little plaid. I think it's so cute. Okay, good. So all we have left are the um, triangle and the squares. And now we're going to switch to our two rulers. Okay, let me, I'm going to give that one back to you. And we're going to pull this out. Ta-da! And we have in this template set first, whoops, I'm going to use the other one. That one's for the six inch. Okay, I'm going to just take this. The width of the fabric for the background is exactly the same size as the height of the ruler. So when you put it on, you line it up across here and then just across the blunt top. Right? Good? And you just go up and then you just once have to turn and go down. Okay. Get a little smidgen going. So then once you have that one done, just slide it off, turn your ruler in the opposite direction, line it up on that same line here, and then cut again. And you just keep on cutting across. Now, don't, be a, don't make a mistake like me and fold it in half and try to lay your cut because you won't have enough fabric. Ask me, why do I know that? Experience, yes. Cool. Okay, and this is all that's left, not big enough for anything else. So this is what's going to go right in here in this spot. And we are going to get, turn the page, beep. Turn the page. 
Okay, page 46. You have rectangles. You have pairs of rectangles, two pairs of rectangles. What size are these? These are for the 12 inch. What size? Two, two pairs, three by six. Okay, and you cut them with their wrong sides together because they're trying to trick you. They're a mirror image. Aren't they trying to trick you? I know, it's just so tricky. Okay, so just keep them all lined up, keep the edges lined up, and all you do is do one cut, one diagonal cut. Ta-da! And I'm just going to do it for one right here. Let me show you. Just take a pair, a pair, okay? It has to be a pair like this, and open them up, and then you can go one on each side. Nice! nice. <laughs> See, you can't do it with just one because they, you won't work. It won't work. You have to have a pair. And so these are also, you have to take these and open them up too. And you make a stack of all four of these. Are we good? Yes. All right. We're going to add these and then square them up. Let me see. I keep on moving stuff around. I don't know where to keep everything here. But this is good. This is my favorite patch. I love this patch. So I'm going to just lay it like this so that you can see which direction. I'm going to take off so there's only one lay in there. And you take this one so it doesn't confuse you. You take the right stack and you get rid of it. Just put it away so you don't even look at it and see it. It's because I've taught a lot of these classes. <laughs> Okay, and then you take the background and you flip it right sides together and right up here, you just make sure that you have this little tip and it's a quarter of an inch wide, right going across there. And that is exactly the width of your seam allowance. So you want to go ahead and put in a little jumper scrap so that you can just go ahead and pick this up because it's really easy to just have the um, little tip of that just go down into your feed dogs. But you can avoid that if you put a single hole throat plate in, and then that will help too from not getting it stuck in there. So you've got that little tip at the top and a little tip at the bottom. Okay, so this is good. Could have gone in a little bit further, a little bit deeper. Let's see how you've got this right up here. Okay, you got the little one down at the bottom, so you just flip it over like this and just open and press. Okay, and you don't cut that tip off because now you can get the right piece back and when you flip it right sides together, you line up those tips at the top. And see how Merritt drew circles for you? If it's in a circle, that means you better look at it. If, there's a, if it's in a circle, that means like, look right here. And if it's bold, you really better read it. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing. We're nearly done. Ha! Huh. This goes so fast. Okay, so when your needle goes in, it like just goes right into that. It's like a, a valley. You put your needle down in the valley. Okay, good. How am I doing, Teresa? Great. Good. Thank you. Okay, so see the top? Like this? Right up at the top and on the back side. And now Teresa gets to press it flat. And I'm going to do. I'm going to do the um, fussy cut ruler again. So all of these are going to end up being the same size. Yay! Okay, put this on. Cut. Retake. I'm not using that ruler. I'm using this one. Oh, the ruler that you're going to use is this one. 
can you take that out, Eric? <laughs> I did it just to make sure your guys were paying attention. Did you, did you go, how am I going to do that, or did you just trust me? You just trusted me. Yeah. Don't trust me. <laughs> this is the ruler that you need. Oh, my gosh. Because there's little lines on it. Look at that. See those little green lines? So you just slide up there. Slide, 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 slide. Okay, and then you get it all lined up right in there like that. That's good. Good? Okay, and then really hold it down tight. Um, Teresa, maybe I need coffee too. <laughs> <laughs> that was water. But I, was, I would look for the coffee. No, I'm joking. Oh. oh, no, I'm joking. Hold on. Okay, and I'm going to go down the sides and then just swing it around. It's because I made a mistake. Oh, you did. I was hot oh, on it, okay. rolling on my uh, fussy cut ruler, but I didn't need it. <laughs> okay, and now one more cut. It's all four cuts. Good? Yeah. Very good. Yay! Get rid of it. <coughs> Let us see. It's so cute. It's going to go right in there like that. And this is going to go over here like this. I like all these bright colors. Very, very cute. This was the patriotic um, kit. We we're going to have so many patriotic quilts around. There. If we finish it. <laughs> if we can finish it. That's the block. What do you think? Pretty. Pretty. OK, I just want to show you a little bit real quick on the 6 inch. This is the 12 inch. How many of you are doing the 6 inch? Okay, okay, it's good. Okay, so in your book there is a set of directions that says take glow line tape. I'm, I do not know why, but I use light pink glow line. Can you see it? You can see it. Okay, oh, barely. This Here it is. But it's 3 inches down from the top three inches down from the top and it says it says that Kathy do you see what page that says to do th 45. page 45 three inches down from the top I put the glow line so that when I line it up on my ruler this is just for the six inch then I put the blunt at the top and I put that glow line tape across the bottom of the strip and so now you just go up Ooh, that was close. Okay, and so this is the little guy for the six inch. Cute. And then you have smaller rectangles like this. And let me take this ruler. I'm looking all over for my rulers. And it's just like the 12 inch. You just cut these pairs of rectangles apart. And then take one set, like that, like that. It's exactly the same sewing. Ta-da! <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. Abracadabra, huh? OK, and so this guy, remember I told you in the beginning, you have to use the two and a half inch. Let's see, if this is six across, two times three is six. So this is for the six inch block, right? So now there are little tick marks right here. You can see that there is the little line going right down to the middle. And at the bottom, you actually have about one eighth of an inch down at each corner. One eighth of an inch. This is really a little guy. But anyhow, it's a cool ruler to use to make those patches perfect. So that's one and two. Swing it around. Three. Perfect!
rigged. Is that, is that perfectly swell? Yeah. That looks really good. That looks really good. I think Teresa might have gone to get her block. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's rubbing coffee. Guess what? So did did you do good? Road to Paradise. Yeah. You got. Is it good? Yeah. You've been good. Would you like to see the road to Paradise? Yeah. Oh. It's because I'm going to have a coffee break. <laughs> this is only the second time we've ever seen it. We just shot it yesterday. I wanted to show you what Quilt in a Day looks like as you walk in the front door and you end up clear on the other side of the building. Nice? nice? Yeah. All right. Let us see. And okay, Eric, Eric hit it. Me. We're just going to show you the whole thing at Quilt in a Day. So you enter into the parking lot. We're in San Marcos. Now, I actually rented this building in 1983. And honestly, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. One unit. And if, as you look, we're three units big right now. So I finally had to buy the building. But come on, do you see all the blocks? that are uh, painted on the outside of the building. As soon as you get in the parking lot, you know you're out of place with quilts. Okay, follow me. Just come along here. I see Dodie is already coming for the class. Okay, so I have to learn how to walk backwards. This is not easy. How about sideways? There, I like this. Now we're moving, we're moving, we're really hot. We're nearly at the door. Oh, somebody's in the handicap. We have everything. There's the writing right outside. Quilt of the day. Did you see the blocks over there? Log cabin, of course. And so our hours are on the outside. Come with me. This is paradise, I'm telling you. you so now. So salutation from quilt in a day. Enjoy, that's the best thing. Inside, just step in. Oh my gosh, everything's here. So we start right behind me. Do you know that I've written nearly 50 patterns? I can't believe that, I just cannot believe it. And so you have to just enter right in. The pressing mats, and this is the place where everybody stops because it's all discount stuff. They just, Orion just loads this up almost every morning. It's too much fun. Okay, keep on going. We're coming past the restroom. That's very important. The offices are right in there. That's for Angie and Orion. And Angie does all of the ordering for you and Orion does all the thinking for you. Okay, keep on going. You're coming to the fabric now. Ah, Michelle, we are doing a walkthrough of the Quilt in the Day building because this is the road to paradise. So what do you think? Hey, Kelly back there, say hi. Hi, everybody. So look at all of that fabric. Can you believe it? And so if you want to see where we do the video productions, it's right in here. So I'm all, it's already set up for block party. That's cool. Hello, how are you? And so, the chairs. This is actually our video production studio, but we do a lot of the lectures. We do the webinars right here, and you can, this is where we did our PBS series. So, it's just really fun. If you're in the area, you can go ahead and join us. So, now I want to show you the classroom. I'm just going to kind of go back across this whole big room. So why did we move into a warehouse? Well, whenever um, I started in 83, I knew that I wanted to do production. And um, we would look for an area close to my home that we didn't have the air traffic over us, so it was loud. And so one day I just went out and I had two young boys at home. You know how they can get into trouble. So we said, 
okay, I have to be home in five minutes in case there is an accident. And there was. But anyhow, this is where I settled. And I've been here since 83. Can you imagine? Okay, we're walking. Oh, stop here. All of the books, 113 of them. Can you believe that? Just too much fun. And probably even some missing. And so we're still, we're going right into the classroom. Let's see. Ah, there's some people. You're going to be on video. Say hi. Yes. We're doing a walkthrough. And I'm showing them the classroom just in case they want to come here. And, and I love your, your quilt there laying out. Look how pretty. Vera, whoa. You're a beginner? Looks good for a beginner. <laughs> it's good. Okay, come with me. So this is where people make their own quilts. We teach them how to do it. And I hope you saw everything hanging up. Okay, let's go this way. This is a little bit different than we came in. And so I'm walking backwards. I'm walking backwards. <laughs> so notice all of the different fabrics are kind of divided by, this is like the Civil War time period. This looks like the modern, the 30s. Oh, just stroke the fabric. Boy, does that feel good. And right over here is all of our Accu quilt. I love my Accu quilt. It's just too much fun. And some of the quilts, okay. Just keep on going. Okay, Michelle, how are you? And what are you doing? So much fun. I'm folding fat quarters. Fat quarters! If Michelle's here, there must be fat quarters to fold. <laughs> okay, so this is all the regular price fabric, but then just step through the door. Uh oh, it says warehouse fabric, 40% off regular price fabric. You're invited inside. Oh my goodness, Carol! Where did the fabric all go? It went to Paducah. Oh, no, I can't believe that. Do you I feel know. naked in here? I do. I oh, do. my gosh. <laughs> well, we're taking a little video tour. Thank you, Carol. You're okay, so now, this is, you're allowed to shop in here, but there it says employees only beyond this area. You want to take a peek? This is the part that everybody wants to look through and see what's going on. Let's go. Backing up. Don't want to trip over anything. And now my new cups. Yes, look at this. I am wearing the outfit that's on the cup. I didn't know I was going to do that. OK, so inventory. Now you're coming into where all of our inventory is, where our wholesale orders are packed, and our retail. Ah, Michael, say hi. Hello. Hello. We, we are just taking a little walkthrough video and we're showing them all of the inventory. Did, did the truck just go? Yeah, it did. About 10 minutes ago. Text, the truck is yeah. gone. The truck is gone. Okay, so come with me. Oh, there goes Jesse up the stairs. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is where they pack the wholesale orders. This is where Michael works. And oh my gosh. Just so much fun. Please do not put your junk on this table, and everybody does, huh? Okay, come on, because this is kind of fun back in here. Whoops, we're coming to where they sell all of the AccuQua, all of the Amazon inventory. Okay, guys, Jamie, Lee, where'd you guys go? Oh, they left, did they duck? I don't see them. Okay, say hi, you're on video. Okay. Oh, Martha, I'm so excited. This is Martha's area. Martha is our kit cutter. And I am so glad that you are here laying everything out. So she, this is how she cuts all of the kits. Is that amazing? It's amazing to me. And these are some kits that we've been working on. Um, it's amazing. How many kits do you think you did, Martha? Oh, I don't know. I tried that. And look at her empty bolts. That is a lot of fabric. And this was all kits in here, and it's kind of all emptied out now. Okay, we're coming to the test kitchen. Actually, it's where we test all of the patterns. Okay, come into the sewing room. This is the best part. I know you're going to love this part. So, Teresa, we're coming. Oops. 
Ah, so this is Teresa, and she is actually working on a log cabin, I see, for the next uh, reprint of the log cabin. It's the 40th year, and David is back in the corner. Say hi, David. Hi. But you see our, our baby lock sewing machines, Koala Studio. There's slat walls on the side. Over here is our design wall where we hang up all of our pieces. We hang up a quilt and then just wait for people to walk by and we listen to what they say. If they don't like it, oh, then we gotta rip it off. But if they go, oh, I like that, we have a winner, huh? So this is my area down here. It's pretty much empty. I didn't even get to sit and sew today. Darn it. But these are all of the blocks from the Fabulous 40 book. Those are kind of extras that we keep on doing. Um, one of my sons, I don't know if, if Grant originally designed this. I think Grant originally designed all the quilts. They look pretty today, Teresa. You must have hung them all fresh, huh? You did tell me. You hung them all fresh. <laughs> she hung them fresh, so it's just really fun. Okay, now this is where I hang out. Just come with me. We're going into the art department. Ah, I'm getting pretty good at this backing up stuff. Okay. <laughs> This is where we have to stop. Grandma's place. This was a gift. Memories made here. Oh my gosh, I didn't really clean it up, but you can see. Okay, this is my office. Ah, keep it high. Don't let them see all the mess, Eric. Oh my goodness. Yep, I had to put in the easy chair because I was doing so much work. It looks like a mess, but if it was all clean, you'd wonder how we got the work done. And, ta-da! This is Merritt. Merritt, you have to turn around and say hi, because everybody knows your name. Merritt's been doing books for, I don't know, I think 35 years, but he doesn't remember. 35, and this is Tawana. She really just started, and she is working out really well. But this is where we do all of the artwork right here. We do all of the layout here. Um, do all the writing, all of the concepts, the photography here. So this is where it happens, right in this little room. And just step out because we are just about through. Whoops, I nearly tripped. <laughs> and that is the end of our tour. Thank you. And the road to paradise. Okay, I want to show you. Look what we have. We took a staff picture. And people always ask me how many people work here. And I think, we, I think there's around 30. I have to count. Yeah, I, think I think about 30. But we have to see if Eric's coming. And Eric said his dog had to be in the picture, and he is. <laughs> he didn't really say that. But anyhow, this is the Quilt in the Day staff. And you can see all the different departments. It's so much. Here's, here's Cole. There's Eric, Orion, and me. And you know um, Juliana? She was in this morning. There's Brenda. Hello. Hello. There's Teresa and David. Here's Sue. Sue is actually in Chicago doing um, an event for Jim West. Um, so anyhow, they're having a good time. But anyhow, there's a lot of people there. They're all great. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Great thank you. Cool. That's very, very cool. All right, and that's the end of Road to Paradise. <laughs> so is it paradise? Is it, does it make you happy? To, do you get all shaky when you pull in the driveway and go like that? <laughs> I, I know whenever I was um, going, I was doing a summer work at Penn State College, and I pulled into this fabric shop, and I was so excited. I jumped out and ran in, and I forgot to turn off my motor. <laughs> That's how excited I was. <laughs> I think you were destined to fall into the... I guess so. I did not know what I was going to do, huh? Okay, so now... We're going to do Grandma's Star. Grandma's Star. Let me see. Oh, she's pressing that towards me. I have to see what we have here. 
Ah, we have that other picture up there. Nope. Where do we have? We have their picture someplace. Oh, you know what? How about I'll show you this one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. So we took a picture for the new book and the kids having a little tea party. Oh, let me see. Is the glare okay? Is that good? That's good. So there are five of them. I thought that I was going to have grandpuppies forever, but I lucked out. My sons figured it all out and just started having babies one after the other. So there are five of them. This is recent. But I have a little video to show you of when they were babies. You want to see that? Later. First, we have to get our book done. We have to get our book done. Oh, and talk about getting our book done. I was at Julian working on my book, and the children, um, Grant's kids were with me. This is Ellie, Becca, and Jonas. And I was flipping through the pages, and I was on the Grandma Star page. And they're looking at it. Ellie's reading the story to them. So it was just so much fun. I, they loved it, and they laughed. Brian said he heard a lot of laughing upstairs, so it was fun. Okay, Grandma Star. So this one was also called Garden Walk, which I love. I love Garden Walk, Grandma Star, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same. Okay, so if you look at the picture, do we have the blocks? Oh, let's bring the blocks over too. So here's the two different sizes. The 12 inch in just actually three colors. It's easy. Three colors. You can do that, right? So I did it in yellow and green and then just the background color. This is a 12 inch. This is the six inch, but it has a little four patch, five little four patch that I actually got them all ready. What's I got them? I didn't. Teresa did. <laughs> Ta da! Ah, strips all sewn together. Okay, so come over here, Missy. Oh, oh my you get to press. Oh, I get okay, to press. Oh, so, oh, let me show you first. So first we have green and background, right? Mm -hmm. Two sets, green and background, two sets. And then we have yellow and background, two sets. And then we have just green and yellow one set right so she's gonna flop and put dark on the top dark on the top and you can go ahead just set the seam open and press into the seam all right so you just go right along there so maybe i will just go ahead and cut a little okay there she goes whoop okay good okay that's as good Okay, thank you. So I'm going to take the first set, green and background, put background at the top, right side up, put the second set, right sides together to it, dark across the top. And just feel. And when that lays flat, that's locked in place. And you'll know if it's bumpy, then it's not locked. Oh, let me just move that up. Okay, I've got the green. And then this is the yellow. Put the dark at the top, do the same thing. Line it up, make it flat. Okay, I found I like to cut my pieces two and a half inches with my shape cut. And there's lines every half inch. And whenever you do the six inch, you only need to have a one and a half for this one right now. We need have to have two and a half. So let's see if I can get this. See if I can cut this. What place your bets now? You think I can do it? Ugh, I have not been cutting well at all. I might as well just give up cutting. Thank heavens. Okay, so here we go. I'm lining up this line across the bottom. Here I'm at zero. Okay, and you put your cutter 
in at zero to straighten this edge. Oh, I'm pushing down so hard. It's because this morning I didn't cut very well. Okay, two and a half. I'm cutting two and a half inch pieces, so move to two and a half. Oh, I think I did it. And to five. Okay, so we have two sets, but I felt a bump in the road. Oop, right there. Okay, so that's the one set. Let's see. Oop, pretty good. Oh, look at that. I'm quite excited. You don't know. I just have no strength. Okay, so this is the second set. Two and a half, five, and then let's see. Ah, cool. So let us see. Teresa, you want to just sit and sew these two together? Sure. Okay, making that one, sew it together. Just lock it in the top. Okay, let's see. And we always put the um, top, the seam going up on the top so that whenever you sew across it, see I didn't go through this one. Ah. So that when you um, go down, you shove the top into the underneath. So there's always a method to our madness. And so this is the second set, you ready? So I'm just going to cut this in half. I think it was six inch, so I'm just going to cut it into two, three inch. Woo! And now do the same thing and cut it into two and a half. Right sides together, two and a half. Oh, you're fast. Woo! Can't keep up with Teresa. She had been sewing up a storm. We are already working on a new book again. It is the rewrite of the log cabin because we're almost out of inventory and one of the companies wants a big order. So we're working like crazy. Okay, so take that one. Here, do something with it. <laughs> Okay, so let me have, can you do it sitting down? Okay, so what I'm going to do with this one is just open it up and lay it flat and just take the top and lay it down flat and just take this one, go around counterclockwise and push it and open it up and mush it. Cool, good. Perfect, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to lay out all of these blocks. Do I have all these blocks to lay, Teresa? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what I have. You have two green, two yellow, and one yellow. Okay, start with the center. And take and make, do like this, the yellow. Make a trail of yellow, whoop, and then go to this one. Do the green and make a trail of the green. This is good. And do I have a background already cut? A uh, background. Oh, I think yeah. I better. Oh, do I do. I have it. Do you have it? Yeah. Um, it's okay. Do it right I'll do it. Oh, look, like magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the background. And then... We need to have our um, points on the sides. You have a set, a pair of yellow. They've been cut wrong sides together. A pair of green cut wrong sides together. And you just cut those on one diagonal. And these are a little different. You notice that you have to put both colors on the side of your background triangle. Okay, so let's put this just layout two. So let's take one, open it up. We'll put one there and one there. Okay, and then let's take another one of the yellow, open it up and put one there like that and the other one up here. So you make Two sides are different, so they look like this. 
Ta -da! Like this and like that. Okay? Very good. And you can just square it up exactly like we did before, right? Okay, so then when you're going to lay them down, yellow, yellow, yellow. Oop, and green's beside it. Green, green, green. Ah, ah. And then over here, let's get this one. Go green, 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 yellow. The next one, you just have to move them around and see. Yellow, and then you have, need a green one right in that. Ta-da! All right! Was that good? Okay, and now your attention turns to the board. So you can make a great secondary design by cutting two and a half inch lattice, the size of the block, and just cut green, green two and a half inch squares, and whoops, they're all gone. And yellow two and a half inch squares. I have an idea. Yellow, okay, and green, okay. Good. Is that cute? Yes. It's beautiful. So remember, you can get this in the egg money book. All of the yardage and the directions are in for this. You can make one block. If you just want to keep on going, just keep on going. So just fill it in. And you can make it as big as you want. And what do you think? You need to have... Um, a border around the outside. This one has, let's see, David, if you, they're looking. So how about, let's come up here and focus right on this one. Because see, you can see all the blue, and then this outside has to be the same width, two and a half, but this is just a narrow one. This one looks about one and a half, and that looks like about one. That's very, very pretty right there, isn't it? And then just a wider border and binding to match that outside border. But this is, isn't this cute little quilting. Very, very cute. Very fun. It's one of my favorites. I've always liked it. Okay, let's see. Teresa, we only have a couple more blocks we have to get done. Right? Yay! Woohoo! And now you get to see my grandchildren. I know you've been waiting in your seats. You couldn't wait, right? Okay, so I need that little book. I'll introduce you. Oh, you didn't? I thought I saw it. I saw somebody had it. Yeah, you can have that one upstairs. Yeah, the little storybook. So I thought I saw it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, so this is Ellie. Okay, he's got a switch. Okay, this is Ellie. She is now 10, soon to be 11. Yeah, and she is going to read a little book. It's a little story about a little girl, and she is dreaming, and she has a little bear that is in her dream, a little bear. And so the little bear is Jonas here. So, and then there's a little duck that comes in the dream. And it's Becca. And this is, she's, she's in um, first grade now? Oh my gosh, this time is going so fast. And then there is Kylie. And Kylie is a lamb, and she has to go, bah. They all have to make these noises. She has to say, bah. And for some reason, I think there were only three little animals. So we had little Zoe, who was only two in the video. And she was just as excited as everybody else. She came out and going like a, bah, too. <laughs> and so this is the cast. These are their ages now. We were just taking these a couple of weeks ago. So when you see the story, it's pretty long, so we're just going to show you the closing, the grand finish of the story so you can meet the bench.
Where's our sheep? Oh! Ba, ba. Let me hear you say ba. <laughs> That's okay, Zoe. Come here, little sheep. Ba. Oh, good. Look at you guys. Whoa, turn around. So you so can see can the see uh, duck you. on yeah. the bed. You see the duck on the bed? And you see the bear on the bed? The end. And Allie was reading the story. <laughs> and then yay! I say, the end. Yay! You did it! You did it! And oh, there's the book. So, so now, now they all the get out of the characters. bed. They all know Whoops, the end. Ellie stuck right? in the microphone. Okay, this is Ellie. And she's seven. Yeah. And this is Kylie. And she is going to be four. She's having a birthday pretty soon. Take a bow, Kylie. Yay! And this is Becca. And Becca is three. She is the, the goose, could you tell? Take a bow. Do you know how to take a bow? Take a bow. This is the baby. Yay. I'm missing her. This is Zoe, her. and Zoe is just two. Take a bow. Do you know how to take a bow? Yeah! And this is Jonas the bear. And Jonas is five. He's in kindergarten now. Okay, take a bit. Take a bow. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. You did a great production. We should do, do remember that, that on the road again, huh? Yay! They've grown up a lot, haven't they? <laughs> they have really grown a lot. Cool. That was really, really fun. Oh my goodness.